We're starting to get a bit on him now. He's tiring. I'm tiring. Oh, come up, please. Hooked up on a marlin. Having heaps of fun. If anyone needs a, anyone knows a chiropractor, send us an email because I think I'll need one by the end of the show. At the moment, I still reckon I'll probably get about 60 metres out there. Maybe a bit less. So we're just at that point where the fish won't budge. And it makes it extremely hard, so. We're starting to get a little bit on him. Uh, 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 no, no, let me take a bit back. So all it is at the moment is just a big tug of war game. So at the present moment, we've probably been on this fish for about 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so. And I don't think it's gonna come in too easy because it's just taken enough line now. My last 10 minutes of work is just taken off, so. All right, we'll get the fit back on him. And this is where you work hand in hand with the skipper. We've got Tony up there. He watches where the line's going. It makes it a bit easier on me so he can bring the fish to that corner where I want it. Take a bit of pressure off the line so I can kind of get a bit back on the fish. And his job's just as important as mine, probably more important. So my brother's in the background there, wiping his sorrows away. He got the first one, dropped it, and then lucky enough to get the second one, and that's what happens. You know, like I was saying, they've got such a hard bill, and if you don't get that hook set in there right, it just pops straight back out again. But I'm all right, my back's uh, starting to warm up a bit now. It's not aching as, as bad now, so. And you might be at home saying, God, he's a big wuss, but I'll tell you, when you've got a gimbal and harness on, it makes work life a lot easier. I've got, no ha I've got a, a harness on, a gimbal on, and I've just got all that weight through my arms down my back, so it does take a bit out of you. All right, we're getting a little bit back on him again. We're back to orange color line. Got the sensor braid, so we're hitting green. All right, he's not far away. We should be getting a bit of color. All right. Yep, we can see a bit of colour here now, so hopefully we get to see this wonderful fish. And she's not a bad fish either, what we can see there. It's been one hell of a fight, but still haven't got it yet. He can just take another 100 metres off me just like that if he wants. Hopefully he's tired now and I can slowly get him back in and uh, he's taking a little bit off me all that boat noise and everything and this last place he wants to be near and it's a pretty dangerous job now for our our trace man because we've got braid so he has to be extremely careful how he grabs that leader because if it slips down his hand and gets that braid wrapped around him there'll be a few uh, fingers in the water feeding the fish so He's got a pretty dangerous job as well. The only bonus is uh, with this fish, he's had a bit of a run, so he's just as tired as we are, or as I am, and hopefully he won't play up too much when you get him to the boat. The problem is when you get them too quick, they are very green, and they will 
play up. Now here we go, we're losing some line again. There goes, uh, there goes my orange. There goes 10, and we're into the blue. And there's another 10, 20 metres just like that gone. Here we go. You might have a jump in him still. Yeah, he goes. Is it maybe? Yep. Woo! Right at the back of the boat here. Slow it up. Try right at the back. Yep. And then. Woo! Just don't lose it. Oh. Oh. Well done, mate. Beautiful work. Beautiful. My life is complete. I've caught a marlin on an expedition and that's all I wanted to do. Now you can put me the rest. Thanks, Peter Bacula. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> that was hard work. Yeah. We lost our lure, but who cares? We got to see the marlin. It's probably about 80 kilos or so, maybe a bit more. And it was one tough job. My back is actually aching. Done a good job there, buddy. Do you want me to move back here now? Oh, yeah. I'm stiff as ironwood, but uh, great fun.